Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Astroneer with your friend, Kuros Paladin. Thank you for joining me today. This episode, we're going to finally go after the VTOL over here on Vesania. Now, I've done a lot of prep work. Um, I've done this mission enough times that I'm pretty certain I have everything I need. So I shouldn't have to do any trips back and forth to Silva. I think I have everything I need here on Vesania. So the mission right now would be to find Matt. And I'm sorry, not find Matt. Find the data cache, whatever it is. I mean, we can pull up our mission log. And we have to find the vehicle data recorder and blow up the data recorder. Because that's what we do. We blow stuff up. I don't know why, but we blow stuff up. So... Uh, I have, I don't know if I have enough tethers, but we'll find out. We're going to, if I need more, I will craft them as I go. So let's go ahead and we're going to head off towards the data recorder, which is over here. So if I can uh, actually drop tethers at the right rate here. So now at this wreck, I'm going to stop. I'm kind of glad I found this. So the recent update... Uh, introduced the portable smelter which is actually I think something I'm going to use uh, quite a bit because um, oh look there's a battery in there yoink um, I even though they cost two you to run on my automated system right now the um, the smelters actually get overwhelmed. They can't keep up. But with the portable smelters, I can have, say, eight of them just set up, and they will keep up with no problem on the sorting facility. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. But for this particular save, I don't have a sorting facility yet, so we're not going to go there. Oh, and I have a, a neighbor. Um, let's go ahead and we'll just, ow, okay, I should have seen that. Well, that was really dumb. Par for the course for me, though, because it's just happening more and more often with me. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, I cannot concentrate anymore. But anyhow, enough about that, so... Let's go ahead and head back and take care of the uh, really hostile neighbor over here. Um, oh, okay. Well, it's already been taken care of. All right. So that, that, and please go there. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Um, dun, dun, dun. Okay, the battery. Don't really care about that. And yeah, dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. We'll put a, mon a monument there of a death. Okay, we'll even top it off if that'll stay up there. So okay. All right, let's continue on the way. Oh, I have to. Craft more tethers. Alright. The way the game decides what goes where gets a little bit annoying at times. There. Okay. I really want the oxygen tank up there, but it wants to always go over to the uh, terrain tool. Alright, so anyhow, yeah, there was a big announcement today. Um, there's a paperback comic coming out for Astroneer that is based on all this lore that has been uh, introduced in the past week. So, uh, I'll admit, oh, I have a, a, sh a shooter. If I just keep running... They're kind of one of those things where they should be aiming where I was am going, not where I'm at. So, uh, a paper book comic is coming out in March, so that's still five months away. Um, 
but it is based on all the lore, uh, so it will explain what's going on. It will probably even explain, you know, what is the purpose of Astroneers. And it sounds like it's changed since the game first came out. Um, you know, when the game first came out, it was, oh, you're an Astroneer, you're out there making money for yourself, and maybe that's the lie Exodynamics told uh, Astroneers, or maybe that's the uh, assumption that these Astroneers are under. Um, you know, are Astroneers truly real, or are they just simulations? Um, it'll be, it'll be an interesting read. I hope it will be an interesting read. Let me put it that way. Um, I did pre-order mine, so, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I do like lore in games. City of Heroes, which is the other ser series that I have kind of neglected, mostly due to real-world issues with that. Um, I do want to get back to it. But the lore in City of Heroes, I love it. And Astroneer is now getting to a point where lore is something that uh, could be very, very interesting. So I'm wandering around right now looking for compound because I want to uh, craft some more tethers. I don't see any compound around here. So we're going to make a, a run for it over to it. It's not too far away. It's right over here. All right, so I have to blow it up. Usually they make that very easy. Please tell me they did that here. Usually there's there's dynamite right nearby. Whoa, that debris just went flying in the air. That was kind of interesting. Uh, oh, speaking of com compound, um, there we go. Oh, that was organic. Um, really? There is no... Oh, there we go. There's plenty of dynamite here. Okay. Excellent. Alright, so I had to blow this up. Let's, uh, move away from it. Boom. Now, I like how it blew up everything around it, except the dynamite near it. That That's just kind of funny. <laughs> It's just kind of weird. You'd think the dynamite that was near it would have also would also have gone boom. Oh, look at all that wonderful graphite. Um, unfortunately, I don't have space for it. I could ditch that and pick up one. So, all right, I need to get back to some tethers here. So, and unfortunately, now this tether line. Oh my goodness! It is on the other side of the planet. Do you see that over there? It is. I, it might be worth it to just take the shuttle over there. All right, maybe I'll do that. So I'm gonna head on that way. Whoa, we. Ugh. Okay. Darn lash leaves. Uh, I will say Vesania is probably one of my least favorite planets in this game. It's just, it, the terrain is just so annoying, and it uh, really doesn't have much to offer aside from lithium. Um, I just, I rarely come back here, so. All right, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can find a landing site that is closer. So we're going to go do that. 500 bytes, bootstrapping. So I need to find Matt and then slot an exochip in Matt. Well, I'm a little bit ahead of that. I'm already thinking about it. I've got exochips here. So, okay. Um, do I have anything that I can get rid of? Not really. Let's go ahead and we're going to go into orbit and see if I can find a closer spot. Last episode where I had all the cuts and I did it really fast, I hope you enjoyed it. I hated it. Um... The reason I hated it is I spent about three hours putting that thing together afterward. And I just ended up not enjoying it anymore. Um, I know it went a lot faster, but oh my gosh, when I had to spend that much time editing it afterward, um, 
it just really, really did uh, make it not as enjoyable. Okay, I think that's it. So I'm pretty certain that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and land here. And hydrazine is valuable at this point. I need to work on getting some more hydrazine. But I do have 11 launches left here, so I can afford to do this. All right, so it is off in this direction. Is there any compound nearby? Because um, I am going to have to make a trip back here anyhow. Um, I can leave that, that, and that. And I can leave one of these here. Uh, compound, compound. There's resin. Um... Ooh, let's check out this wreck. Because if I can find one of those little portable smelters over here... Um, I mean, that's pretty cool. A solar panel, but I don't really have a use for it. And unfortunately, no, no portable smelter. Okay. Still... Whoa! Oof. <laughs> I thought, saw that thistle whip just as I went around the corner. Um... Oh my goodness, really? No compound? Oh, and I, there we go, there's some compound. I don't know if there's enough. Let's find out. Um, some of you may remember my hatred of extenders. I don't hate them anymore, because another thing they did recently with extenders is you can now change them to be one way or unidirectional. So they can be omnidirectional or unidirectional. And to be honest, that's something that should have been available from the start. Bam! I knew that was going to happen, but I got caught up on the jelly bean. Um, so I may actually go back to using the extenders now. Alright, uh, I'm just not finding any compound. Oh wait, here we go. Here's some up here. I see some. This should be enough. Ah, come on. There we go. Two. Can I get a third? Let's see if I can get a third. There we go. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, well, let's sniff some roses here. Okay. Whoa. Avoid the neighbor. Okay. So, where was that... Uh, whatchamacallit? It is this way. Oh, well, I was already headed that way. Alright, I am going to get rid of this just because. And incoming. Okay. Boom. Okay. And then... In memorandum, we'll plant two more. Okay. Okay. Let's finally start heading this way. So, uh, it would really help if I crafted the tethers, though. Um, I can leave this battery behind. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll get this oh, timing right eventually on placing tethers. Because I don't try to exactly min-max them, but I do try to spread them out where I'm getting a good bang for the buck. Probably going in a straight line was not the best idea. Oh, okay, it's right there. So it's a lot closer than I thought. Excellent. Let's not slide down and already through that bundle. I tried to figure out what... What decides which direction uh, or which side of your astroneer the tethers drop down because 
You may have saw that first one I dropped fell on his right. Now they're falling on his left. Okay, we got a lash leaf there. Let's just give that a sort of a wide berth. Let's go down into the valley. Up. Need one more bundle to make it. I kind of miss the cog tops. Um, yeah, the Halloween ones are kind of, you know, neat, but we get those every year. The cog tops, I wonder if I'll ever get them back. All right, it is Matt. Hello, Matt. How are you doing? So, I had to drop off an exochip. There we go. Completed. Bootstrapping. Next. What's what the thrust and substance selection? This is where I have to go all the way back. And bring a lot of stuff. Probably going to make two trips out of this. In fact, I can guarantee it. With as much that has to come back. Actually, I, you know what, now that I think about it, I could just carry a, a medium storage with me. That has pretty much everything on it. Okay. Because I need that, 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 and that full. What can I leave? I can leave the tethers behind. I don't need those for the time being. And all of this... This mission requires so much darn stuff. All right. I I am doing this from memory. I think I have everything. I really do hope I have it all. So I spent time ahead of the recording. Ah, I actually helped speed me along. Okay, thank you, Lashleaf. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, okay, I can get rid of the, no, I can get rid of the compass. There we go. I think I can. All right. So I need to give it hydrogen and nitrogen. All right. Nitrogen. Um, I think I need to get rid of that lash leaf. And that is really darn loud. Lash leaf is just not in a good spot. There we go. All right, hydrogen. Let's go ahead, drop that off. Boom, we've got what the thrust completed. Next, uh, we need graphite, titanium, and tungsten. Well, graphite, titanium, and tungsten. And that finishes substance selection. Yay! Further refinement. Now I need silicone and tungsten carbide. And what do you know? It's almost as if though I already knew. Alright, so... Silicone. And I had to go all the way back to Aatrox to harvest methane just to get the silicone. So it is still busily chewing on helium as I set it up last episode. But I interrupted it to get the uh, um, methane that I needed. All right, so I finished that. 
Further refinement, 250. Analysis paralysis, so I need to give it three exochips. This is where I have to go back, because I didn't have the space for three exochips. I just, I do remember, oh my goodness, just the amount of stuff that you had to bring along to finish this mission. I, oh, really? Really? Okay. That, that just, I don't know. Hmm. I put that there. That, that. Don't really care about that. That, that, and that. And then put these on the terrain tool. There we go. Pick this up. And, uh, oh, I forgot. Hang on. Um, we need a memorial. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, exochips. And I need three, and I only brought two. Gosh darn it. Oh no, there's a third one over here on the ground. Excellent. I was... I knew I had... I knew I was... I suspected I may have forgot something, but I'm glad I didn't. So, I was scared for a moment. Let's load up our shuttle. Because I want to get the heck out of here. Um, you know what? We'll drop this off on our memorial. Because I will probably never come back here. Um, there we go. I really don't like Visania. It, it, visually, it's nice. But... All right. Um, oh, look at all this wonderful... Whoa! <laughs> look at this. What's over here? We've got... Oh, look! Titanium! <laughs> I just left what I needed right there. What else do we got? Just titanium and a, and a medium battery. Um, all right, so here's what I'll do. I will grab that titanium. I'm going to leave that there. Hello, Matt! Why are you facing the wrong way? Alright, exochips. One. Two. Three. Analysis paralysis. Completed. Finished product. So, I need to send off the compiled data for a new schematic. And I am going to wander a little bit away, because I do remember this is a little violent. I still like that, that sound it makes right there. I don't get why it explodes, though. I just, I don't get that. <laughs> I think I know why, because they the they don't want it to hang around later, but alright, since I'm probably never gonna be back here, I'm gonna pick all this up. My fingers just can't do it anymore. I used to be able to do that very easily. Just wander and pick stuff up while running. Recover a shell or two. Ah, sliding! Okay. All right, we're done. And I don't even have to go back to the other stop, uh, other base here on Visania. So, bye Visania. I don't ever pl expect to 
come back here because I just don't. Maybe for some lithium, and that's about it. All right, so back to Silva, and let's go ahead and claim our VTOL. And of course, my base just went around over the horizon. I really want to get rid of the the tooltip. It's just in the way. There we go. And I do want to work on my railroad, too. I really do. Alright, finished product. Boom, boom. We have our VTOL. Excellent. We have some hydrazine. Very much needed. Let's put our shuttle back over here. And we have our VTOL. So let's go ahead and I guess I can just leave it right here. We'll unpack it. We'll admire it. Ooh, so neat. So cool. Okay. Um, we'll drop one of these over here. And... Fine, we'll give one to the VTOL. I think this becomes permanent, though. Yeah, you can't remove it. Once you've attached, uh... Attached hydro... How do that? If I could speak. Once you have attached hydrazine to a... VTOL, you cannot re uh, recover it. In that slot, of course. Alright, well... I hope, uh, you know... Didn't do a lot. Oh, by the way, I'm taking advantage of how research chambers now um, automatically pull items. I When I started recording, I had three research items sitting here and one already being processed. And in that during that time, it picked up all three of them. So 61,398 bytes, not bad at all. So I think that's going to be it for this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really love this game. If you play it, um, I, let me know what you like to do in the game. And um, give me some ideas in the comments below. So, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, I will see you in the next episode of Ashton. Take care and bye.